What's up everyone? This is Lauren from Lauren Learns. I wanted to do another video today on my bread machine. This is not the first of the series because I have a secret love affair with this machine. And as you can see, it's pretty well loved and beat up a little bit, but I got it for $3 like three or four years ago, I don't remember. And like I said in my first video, which I will link up here, I just, I make everything in it. And so today I wanted to show you what we do when we want to make some homemade hamburger or hot dog buns. We're having some friends over later for dinner and I don't know if this is just my twisted thinking but it's easier for me to just think I have all the ingredients at home, I'll just make buns at home than just buy a bag at the store. Uh, to me buying bread when I already have the ingredients seems wasteful. So as you can see behind me there are some hamburger buns waiting to be put in the oven. <laughs> And the recipe I'm about to share with you makes about, I guess, enough for like 12 good sized buns. Okay, so I realized after the fact that I could have showed you all the ingredients <laughs> that I had poured into my bread machine. Do you love the lovely music behind me? I know, it's good. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need three and three quarters cup of flour, one quarter cup of milk, and I actually, I used our almond milk in it, so you don't have to use dairy if you're not, if you're not eating dairy. Uh, one quarter cup of sugar, <coughs> one egg, two tablespoons of butter, one quarter cup of yeast. That's way too much yeast. Don't use that much. What I meant to say was one, <laughs> oh, that's funny. One and one quarter tablespoon of yeast and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and you just dump it all in the machine. I could have showed you that, but I don't want to insult your time because you know what that would look like. And you push the dough cycle on any bread machine. It takes about an hour and a half. And then once the dough cycle has finished, you take out the dough and divide it in form into whatever you want. So like today I did hamburger buns. Um, otherwise this recipe makes great hot dog buns or hoagies for sandwiches. And then we just kind of keep them around for the week. And I don't have to buy any bread anymore, so it's pretty sweet. You could also um, obviously make this very customizable if you're not eating white flour or if you'd rather eat a whole grain flour. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and list that down in the description below, but I've also given it to you in the video, so hopefully you can recreate this at home. I highly recommend it. It's very soft, yummy, delicious bread, and your house will smell amazeballs. So yeah. Have a great week. Glad to share another tip with you. Things I'm always learning, things I'm always trying, and I have to go. <laughs> As always, go get messy, have fun, and learn.